right, guys. Moto Stories of the Unky Phil and Uncle John, too. <laughs> you light that up? Yeah. Oh, good exit. Fantastic. Well done. Like a true professional. So, it's Christmas time, man. I mean, come on. This is it. Phil in the spirit. Somehow he got in Santa's sleigh. I'm freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> to people who are watching this, you have no idea how hilarious it was watching him get into that sidecar rig. Uh, um, I, I, yeah, right? <laughs> it's okay. Hang in there, buddy. We're going to have to turn everything upside down to get me out. We're going to shake the whole thing upside down. Each guy's going to carry it like a <laughs> casket and flip it over. I'm never getting out of here. <laughs> this is it. This is how I die. You're going to have to flip us over. We're gonna, uh, we'll just roll it. We'll do a hard right-hand turn, and we'll just you'll just eject naturally. <laughs> <laughs> That's eject, it. eject, eject, whatever. eject, eject, right. <laughs> it was a great ejaculation. <laughs> That's it. So what's your favorite part about Christmas? And I mean, you got a family. Oh, I love everything about Christmas, yeah. you know. I'm I the saw guy. your house was decorated. Yeah, I put the yeah. lights up and everything, and I'm the guy who's listening to Christmas music and yeah. playing it on my guitar and stuff. And, yeah. uh, you know, we have our holiday traditions. Yep. We always like to go to and cut our own real Christmas tree down Ooh. and everything like that. That's and, cool. Then have a huge argument about how many lights go on it. So I understand right now there's one less pine tree at the compound? Uh, no. <laughs> there's no, there were no good ones out there. <laughs> but, so you went and got a good one, and now the, uh, but when you posted a picture of that tree with a, no less than a thousand lights on it. Yeah, and this year they made the pricing on the trees real simple. They were all just $100 a piece. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there's a Christmas tree shortage. Yeah, I, supposedly. I, supposedly. Allegedly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because none of America has ever been short of a pine tree one day in its uh, life. Yeah. Man. It's the wood we throw away. It's yeah. the wood we make crates out of. Sure. And now all of a sudden there's a shortage. Yeah. Yeah. Logistics. Hundred bucks a tree. We were driving to like downtown Cleveland. I saw some pine trees alongside the highway. I'm like, any of those? We could have got one of those. Any of those. You could get a landscaping one in a ball for a hundred bucks. Yeah. Right. Plant it. In, plant it on your yard. So, do you guys have any, do you guys ever go on trips for Christmas, or you hang around the household? No, uh, absolutely, always stay home. Yep. We read the night before Christmas. You do? Every night, every oh, year, the wow. Christmas Eve. Uh, we will get up uh, Christmas Day and go over to the in-laws and have yeah. a nice meal and everything like that. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Traditional family Christmas. Yeah. Pe and Peggy used to make us, um, actually make pajamas for us, but we don't do that anymore. Really? That's commitment. Yeah. That's that's feeling the holiday spirit. We have the holiday spirit around here. I mean, the podcast group's together. We're going to, you know, got presents for everybody. It's going to be a great I night. brought in one of our five or six Christmas Yo. trees. I mean, there's the real tree, but then every other room has to have like a minor tree. Has a, a, a complimentary tree? Yeah. Yeah, just to keep you in spirit, even if you're in the hall closet. Sure. Yeah, fair enough. I get it. So that's fantastic. Um, we've been asking all the podcast guys. We, the big thing is, what can Uncle Santi fill? What can I bring you for Christmas this year? What do you want? Well, I've... I mean, you you've know, got a lot of cool stuff. We were talking about... Hard guy to shop for. Chris was talking about his AK, but I was thinking of a different kind of AK, maybe. Ooh. Santa has... He has an have, AK-550. I have to make some arrangements with... Uh, I was thinking of an AK maybe with some optics or something. Oh, you're talking about a Kalashnikov. Yeah, preferably oh. Russian. Let me check with one of my elves. Um... Hey, Sparky, I've got an elf over here who's fantastic. He's got some tie-ins with some guys over in Eastern Europe. <laughs> and it turns out Santa's been really, really working for you this year. So, John, I'd like you to have this. It's what I've always it's, wanted. Now, now kid, i got to warn you. What? What? Oh, no. You'll shoot your eye out? You'll shoot your eye out. Yeah. So with that, folks, remember to ride fast and take chances and have a Merry Christmas. <laughs> Perfect. That's what the kids love. All right. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hold that so you can get out of the side yeah. car, I think. Okay. Yeah. And probably oh, best. Probably, we we'll put this somewhere safe. If, can I get a couple of guys over here to help him out? Because, yeah, I, this could. I could just feel the world moving under the sidecar right now. <laughs> Lakewood's never registered anything over 3.0 on the Richter scale. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. You're lucky I didn't step and crush your... <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. All right. Well, that was... Oh, Jesus. That's a, that's a robust piece of sleigh right there. Well, now I can breathe again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're, we're good. Yeah, th Chris, thanks. You'll take that. And I'll go ahead and... 
All right, guys. And Modus Stories with Uncle Phil. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs>